Hello again. Um, so just after six months since the operation, um, all is well. I think as you've seen, I'm exercising regularly, um, trying to increase the flexibility on my joint, not getting any pain at all. So generally, yeah, feel good. Um, it's it's completely transformed, you know, my life. Um, the amount of sleep I'm getting, the um, fact I drive a lot in the car, I don't get out of the car in any, any stiffness at all. Um, you know, I, I don't feel there's anything that I, I can't do. I need to be careful and I'm not, not going to be picking a rugby ball up and going clattering around the rugby pitch anymore, but those days were gone anyway. So um, I think to be sensible, and when I do get back to running, I'm going to be um, as, as sensible as I can and try and, and run off-road as much as I can and, and cross-train. Um, and, and, and I think that'll make my, my sort of fitness more, in, more, more interesting. But um, so I, I feel... That, you know, very, very confident. And then if, you know, if I am prone to arthritis and things, you know, move further, I've got another option, which could be the total hip operation, should I need it in, I don't know, hopefully 15, 20 years time, or maybe not at all, you know, maybe it's, this is, this is what it's done. But, um, and, in, and then talking to other people um, who, who struggle with arthritic pain, you know, I'm a, I'm a big advocate for, for the Birmingham hip hop hip, you know, it's, and I, and I am, you know, promoting it as much as I can, because it's, it's been fantastic for me and I think other people maybe should take a look and see what it could do for them. So. Yeah, I mean I was anxious because um, I'm sure I said when I've been interviewed before that, um, you know, do I really need to do this um, because it's a big intervention, you know, um, everything else, um, I'm relatively young. Um, but it was really affecting my life and until you kind of are freed up from that kind of just that pain and, and just you know sleep deprivation um, and that was the real killer for me um, I just wasn't getting any regular sleep at all um, and now I'm you know my I have a, a sporty personal background and my boys are into that so I can kick the football with them now gently um, but it's getting and I don't feel anything at all and that was that's that is important so, so it was a lifestyle thing so the apprehension was, well, yes, I'm not, I'm not in, um, uh, I'm in absolute agony, but it was clearly affecting me significantly enough, and I'm, yeah, it's more than fulfilled my expectations, um, and I just hope it continues to be that. Way. I've got no reason to believe why it shouldn't. So yeah, very, very, very satisfying. Well, I'm pretty much getting back to to the way I was before I, you know, had any 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 pain, I guess. And and I think the other thing it's done is it kind of makes you reflect on your, on your physical. Um, state and um, I'm using the gym more now than I ever used the gym I'm not a gym bunny um, but I know it's having a benefit I'm swimming more than I've ever swum so it has it's in, in some ways it's given me a bit of a kick up the backside to uh, to do something because uh, also and I'm conscious that maybe things might develop in the other hip um, and so as much exercise and stretching um, you know I, I want to be an active person and I know the more active you are the, you know, the better it is for you and, and getting that balance in, and fitting it into your work life there's more of an incentive to do it because of what's happened to me. Yeah, Great North Run is, um, I've signed up for this year um, but uh, yeah, so that's a bit of a goal for me whether that's a realistic goal this year, I don't know we'll see, see what happens but um, I like to think if I can you know, have a good a few months on, on, the, on the treadmill and cross trainer come uh, in the next couple of months and then over the summer begin to, to run again then yeah I could be running the Great North Run in, in September this year um, yeah and kicking a ball and maybe playing football with a group of dads once a week well we'll see um, I don't want to I don't, I don't, you know hate to do anything you know reckless and um, and maybe want to take a little bit more advice on that but um, it certainly feels good enough as if I could do but I'm, um, time will tell